Welcome to the Mud Crew campsite here at Porth Pian. The food is starting to arrive, tents are starting to go up and runners are starting to appear. And I've got one runner with me now. Who are you? Hello, Mark Stockman. Mark, yeah. what race are you doing this weekend? Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. Bring are dead. you are you mad? I I'm <laughs> starting to think that from what everyone's telling me. Most definitely, yes. What are you most worried about with uh, B O Y D as I'm calling it? Falling asleep or slipping down on the steps. Have you ever done this course before? I've never seen it before in my life. Not come down here. I was told you're probably better off not finding out what it's like, so then it doesn't put you off. So have you heard of the, the word steps of death? Yes. Yeah, 550 I believe. Something you looking like forward that. to that? Yes. yes. So what, what, challenge. what is your plan? My plan is, is the tortoise and the hare. Not to go out too fast, not to go out too mad. Finish the 24 tell, tell me about the rules of, of Bring Out Your Dead. There are no rules. There are, Andy says. <laughs> there are no rules other than you're not allowed to stop for more than 20 minutes. If what, anywhere on the course? I believe anywhere on the course, yes. Good um, I, I fall asleep for more than 20 minutes sometimes. Yeah, well, I was thinking of having a little kip on the steps, I've got to admit. You have to finish the 24 hours or you will be disqualified. Yeah. And I believe that if you do not finish the 24 hours, they take your t-shirt off you and burn it in the fire <laughs> because you are not worthy of wearing a t-shirt anywhere else. Wow, this trumps the plague, doesn't it? Yes, it does sound like Oh it, yes. my goodness. Yes. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I'm feeling strong, feeling fit. Um, mentally strong from, from finishing the arc last time. Um, should be a good event. Always is with Mud Crew. Can't, can't, can't think of anything more fun to do on a Friday night at 7 o'clock when I'm not being bed by 9. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> listen, Mark, good luck. Thank, Thank you, thank you very much for chatting yeah, to me. No problem. Okay, there goes Mark to prepare. Right, so like I say, things are starting to happen. So the food is arriving. Look, if you want a latte, you can get a latte here. Hello guys. Um, what else have we got over here? Let's have a look. Um, so these are the pods. Last year, they didn't have these lovely brand spanking pods. Hello Andy. Hello Steve. There's Andy. Um, you've got these hooked up to power, look. And they are very nice indeed. They are brand new. And instead of pitching a tent, you could have one of these lovely pods. Um, what else have we got going on? Hello. So, so people are just arriving, really, because the weather has been pretty bad. So um, people arrived a bit later than they would have done normally. If it had been a lovely sunny day, this would all be set up and ready now. But people are only just kind of getting going. Uh, there's the barn later on. Uh, we've got Damien Hall coming to talk. Um, just before the start of the plague. Um, so that's where the, the disco is, that's where the bar is, um, and that's where the race briefing will be later. Um So welcome to the start of the Boyd. This is Bring Out Your Dead. There are 17 runners in Bring Out Your Dead and they are lined up here ready to go for 24 hours of running on the Cornish coast path up and down some horrendous hills. Are you ready Laura? I'm ready as I'll ever be. Yeah. How far are you going to manage? 27 miles? Good luck. Are you ready? Yes. Nervous? No, I'm good actually. Okay, yeah. awesome. How's it going? The music's not helping the nerves. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Why are you running? I'm not sure I'd enter this if you paid me. Well done guys. Right. All we're going to try is thank God and have mercy on our soul.
never been to a mud crew event before, if you've never been to the Rat Weekend before, this is your taster. Next year you will be here. Runners being led to the start line. How many, how many will still be standing after 24 hours of running? That Cornish coast path is not forgiving. How many of the 17 are you hoping will get to the end? None. That's Andy for you. So runners will be going two and a half miles out on the coast path and then turning round and coming two and a half miles back. It doesn't sound tough, but when you think there are some hellish steps between here and there, they're allowed to spend 20 minutes maximum at Sanctuary, which is back here. If they spend any longer than 20 minutes, they are DQ'd. They have to get out running again. Four, three, two, one. Seventeen sorry souls on their way. That is the start of the Boyd 24-hour race. So here we are in the um, registration area. Which one are you doing? The eleven? Uh, and it's very busy with plague runners coming in to register. So this is kit check here. What do you what do you need from the runners today then? What are you checking for? Um, well, for different races, this, this is this is kit. For the, for the plague, what are you checking for? Plague, race cup, yes. Right. Waterproof jacket, yeah. Yeah. tape team, yes. Mobile phone, yes. Emergency blanket, yes. Head torch and spare battery, yeah. And a red tail light. Okay, okay, they yeah. They have to carry all the kit, but that's all we're checking. So when you are running the plague, um, races these days, are, most races are trying to go cutless, so you need to carry a cup because they will not be providing plastic cups for you at the aid stations. Um, red tail light is becoming more and more common in this country. It's popular in Europe. Um, obviously, it just means you can see runners in the dark that are ahead of you, as well as the ones with the white light behind you. Um, and obviously, uh, things like emergency blankets, stuff like that. It may feel like summer, but if you have a broken leg and you are lying on the coast path, it gets very, very cold very, very quickly. These are not optional things. These are things you have to carry, and they're for your safety so that's the that's the kit check thank you very much that's kit check and then once they've had their kit checked they can go over and get their race number so these are the guys and gals issuing the race numbers they can only get their race number once they've had their kit checked um, and you've still got loads of numbers still to collect if you know nothing about the rat, but I assume you do, because you're watching on the Mud Crew page, um, the rat consists of uh, the new race, the Boyd, the Bring Out Your Dead race, which has gone already. They've started. That's a 24-hour race. Then you have the Plague, which is 100 kilometres. That starts tonight at midnight. Then the, there is the, the Black Rat, which starts at 8 o'clock in the morning at St Anthony's Head, 50 kilometres all the way back here. Uh, then there's the red rat and the white rat. The red rat is about 20 miles, the white rat is about 11 miles. So there's all those races, so all those runners have to go through kit check and pick up their numbers here. Race what? Marshall, okay, uh, Ellie is Marshall manager. Ellie ran the plague last year and uh, I, what, for what? I came fourth. Oh, she came, I know you, came oh, you know you did come fourth because I was between you and third place. I ran last year and every time I got to the top of the hill, I looked behind me and I could see Ellie at the top of the, the hill before me and I was desperately trying to keep ahead of her. You were speeding up towards the end, weren't you? And I was slowing down desperately. But this is Chris, um, who is monitoring. See all these here? Trackers. These these are monitoring the Boyd runners. So the Boyd runners went off at about about half an hour ago. And, uh, and they're already turning around to come back for their first lap. Um, and Chris is monitoring their trackers, um, keeping an eye on how far they've done, how many laps they've done, and that they haven't gone off in the wrong direction. And you can see little blue dots there on the screen. 
So, Chris, are you there? You're not going to be there all night doing this, are you? I hope not. Hopefully, I'll get some sleep. <laughs> oh, maybe an hour. An hour's sleep. So, normally, uh, on a rat weekend, we'd all be out in the sunshine, sitting and enjoying the beautiful evening summer's weather. Um, it is a bit cloudy and windy. But people are still outside. And there's always a lovely atmosphere at the rat weekend. Are you nervous? Oh, thank you. No. There you go. See, that's what the rat weekend is all about. Are you nervous? No. We'll just go out and have some fun. <laughs> I think the coolest bit is when um, it's not every day you uh, overtake Jim Walmsley, really, is it? <laughs> I've got to build that one. That's, yeah. that's not going to happen again. Um, uh, yeah, that's two phrases I never thought I'd be able to say was when I caught up with Jim Walmsley and when I caught up with Zach, Zach Miller as well. Um, uh, Jim Walmsley was, yeah, he was, he was already out of the race, I think, by the time I caught him, and, and Zach Miller, to be honest, but um, I, I can at least, you know, pretend I caught him up in a competitive way, but yeah, I shouldn't really have been in, anywhere near them in the race, but um, yeah, I, I guess, I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't know what caused them not to have the races they wanted, but... Uh, I'm just, I'm quite slow really, so what's great is all these fast dudes, they, they dash off and sometimes they go a bit too fast and... And the lumpier the better? So, the yeah, lump, the lumpier the better. The well secretly I'm just, I just, I used to be a hiker and that's really what I like doing, I like a long lazy hike up a hill. Me too. Yeah, none of this running lark. It's all a bit tiring and sweaty isn't it sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that's sort of why I like UTMB because it's lots of long hikes really. Um, uh, so it's a bit annoying when yeah, all these fast people come along and try and run bits. Evening everybody, we are live at the uh, Mud Crew campsite for the start of the plague. 100 kilometres, 50k, all the way out from here in Porth Pian, all the way to St Anthony's Head. Turn round, 50k all the way back. It's out in the dark and the rain and back, hopefully, tomorrow morning in the sunshine. Are you ready? Just about. That doesn't sound confident enough to me. I want, yes, absolutely I'm ready. Absolutely I'm ready. Okay. What's your furthest distance so far? So you've done 100k before? Selfies being taken. Everybody is, everybody's just like trying to quell their nerves a bit. Just calm down. Are you ready? How are you feeling? Raring to go. At least it's not pouring with rain, is it? What's your, what's your ultra experience? Oh, okay, so you know the course. Yeah, what's your name? Murray. Murray. Hello, Murray. Nice to meet you, but have a good run. What's your name? Andy. Andy, Andy. have you done 100k before? First first, is this your first ultra? Okay, so, you, so we've, we've started on the ultra path. First 100k. Okay, you feeling nervous? Okay. It is a bit uppy downy. Yes. There are one or two hills. Don't let it frighten you off. It'll be fine. Good luck. Naomi, Naomi, have you done an ultra before? Have you done 100k before? So what are you worried about? Have you not done hills before? Where are you from? Essex. Right, you don't know what a hill is in Essex, do you? <laughs> have you run on the South West Coast Path before? Oh, okay, so you've similar to kind of terrain. Well, good luck, have a good race. Well done. So this is Radiation Man. Most people have the plague. He's disinfecting everybody to make sure that they are sanitized. Those running the plague, obviously they're already infected. They have to go. Runners who finish the plague have to do this at the end or they don't get their medal. Andy trying to steal the limelight with his drum. <laughs> like me, see Andy is an average ultra runner 
with a little talent, not like Ellie. <laughs> we are a couple of minutes away now from the start of the Plague 100 2019. If you want to be part of this next year, mudcrew.co.uk, go and find out how you can get involved in the Rat Weekend next year. So the runners will come through this trail here. Head torch is on. This is where the nerves really ramp up. The flares are lit, less than a minute to go now, and they'll be off into the night. And they're off, here we go. Good luck guys, good luck everyone. See you at the turnaround, good luck! Good luck guys! And off they go and as quick as that, they are into the night. Yes, it is nice to see daylight, you're right. What, are, you, are you hoping for a particular time? No, not really. Uh, I was hoping to do about 12 and a half, so... Well, you're on course for we'll, that. We'll see, we'll see. The hardest bit's yet to come, innit? Yes, yes. <laughs> Would you like a bit of bacon or anything? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you. No, it's just gonna... Take it with you. No, no, no. Right, mate. You're all right? You're all good, eh? You're all good. So Tom's picking up any nutrition he needs. Um, he said he can't really stomach a bacon sandwich at the moment. <laughs> Right, Tom, go for it. Right, Take okay. care. Thank Good luck, buddy. Nice to just you come to the front, where you're going to be held up. You've got 32 miles to spread yourself out and overtake. Okay, it's just the path is narrow for the first quarter of a mile. Okay? We're going to try and get you off in 45 seconds, okay? Have a great run. Stay safe out there. Look after each other. So this is the start of the Black Rat, this is 50k, 32 miles, it's the second half of the plague, they're doing it in daylight so it shouldn't be too bad but the wind is all over the place, it's not really behind you at all guys. Good luck guys, enjoy yourselves, have fun, take care, well done. Yeah, you'll be walking like this for a few hundred metres, I'll tell you that. It gets a bit narrow in a minute. Enjoy, have fun, take care. Come on, you're late, you're late, get on with it, get on with it. So you're looking forward to this now? Yeah. It, no, it does look excited. You do look excited. You look a bit too excited. Have you done 50k before? Yeah. Okay, so you know what you're doing? Oh, you did it last year. So why aren't you doing the plague this year then? No, no, no. People don't look happy when they start the plague. <laughs> well, good luck. Have a great race. And here we are onto St. Anthony's Head. 
you've got plague runners down there turning around and going back, having done 50k already, and then the 50k runners just starting out here. Right, down here, this is where the plague runners come. Hey. And, hiya. Hiya. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm all right, just changing my socks. Yeah, and then you're off. I'm off again. Good, good. Well done, guys. Been off for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> keep it up, keep going. So this this is it isn't really a checkpoint. It's just a it's just the turnaround point. They can get a bit of water, um, but nothing else really. You have to wait to get back to Port Scatho in about four four miles, and then they can have a bacon sandwich back there. Well done. There's medics here. There he is. Look. <laughs> And then the uh, the tail runners are here. So when the last plague runner comes through, these ladies are going to follow on. Thanks, guys. Well done. Well done, guys. Good job. Good job. Well done. Excuse us, guys. Thank you. Wow. Anyone in the Black Rat, follow me. Come on, come on, come on. Black Rat and film crew coming through. Black Rat and film crew. Black Rat and film crew coming through. Hi, guys. Good luck, guys. Black Rat and film crew. Film crew coming through. <laughs> <laughs> right, so here we are at the top. Have a good run, girls. So this is a beautiful view. You can see the black rat runners coming down the hill there as well. And any plague runners there are. Hi, guys. Have a good race. So all these people are 20 mile runners, the, the red rat runners. Hiya. Yeah. Hi there. Ooh. So they're, they're right at the start of their race. Okay. 20 miles to go from Port Lou back to Port Prian. Hiya. Hi. Port Pian, not Port Prian. <laughs> morning, good morning. Have a good race, guys. It is still very windy here but at least it's not pouring with rain, which it was a minute or two ago. And they're keeping on coming. There's no let up. Hi guys, keep coming. Beautiful view here over Port Lou. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done guys. Hi yeah, you all right? <laughs> <laughs> um, hopefully my wife will film Tom crossing the line at the end of the plague because he will be finishing shortly um, and the, uh, the white rat runners will be uh, going off in a couple of hours time hiya hi gang keep coming that's ah, alright no problem hi mate hiya. hi there enjoy your race you. have a great day there's a few more of these steps to come, you know. And here's some plague runners. It's always good that they're wearing the green vests. You can tell who they are. You know they've, you know they've worked the hardest out of everybody. These guys, these guys are now at oh, what 80k now? No, no, 30, 70k. Yeah, 70k. They've got 20 miles to go. You've worked hard as well, I know. You're running faster, aren't you? Yeah, awesome. Half the distance, but twice as fast, yeah? Come on, keep it going. Well done, guys. Thank you. And there, in the distance, there, that is the rat. 
so called because it's shaped a little bit like a rat. Guys, uh, we'll see you back at the finish line for everyone crossing the line. And uh, we'll be live from there in about an hour's time. Take care, bye. It's on to the finish now. Absolutely excellent, congratulations. Yeah. Well done, Tom. Yeah. Just sit down for a minute. Yeah. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, That must be a negative split there, Tom, from the turnaround. You turned around about 10 to 6 this morning. Yeah, they reckon the wind was behind us, but I never really felt it. That's, that's... I think it was a myth. Right, we've got two things for you. You better sign up for that. Are you boys doing it? No, we were standing here. How'd you feel? How'd you feel, Tom? I feel pretty knackered. Yeah. Yeah. Were you pushing it hard all the way? Yeah, yeah I'm a, I felt pretty strong on the hills. To be fair. Yeah. I was trying to just plod them and then run what I could on the straight. Yeah. To make up time. Yeah. But um, I had no idea I was in the lead. No, no one told me. You didn't know you were in the no, lead? I didn't know I was in the until lead. Until at what point? Well, the lighthouse. You're kidding. So that gave me that, that gave me a, a lift when I come back. Yeah, yeah. Seeing I possibly had two miles on the next guy. Yes, because you were, you were quite well, aware. There was a lady, uh, Mary Menon. You were quite yeah. aware ahead for, well, most of the race, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, Tom, how long have you been ultra running? The classic quarter in 2017. Okay. I've done the Black Rat. That's about it. Just I've done two or three, I think. Yeah. yeah. First first race win. I've won more uh, local races around in Cornwall, but that's, that's, this is a big one, isn't it? So. Yeah. So are you? Lo where are you? Where are you from? Falmouth. Falmouth. Okay. So you're a local lad. So yeah. um, is there a race? Are, are you thinking of the Arc of Attrition? Uh, is that something that's on your mind now that you've got the invite? That hurts so much today, I can't imagine doing another, you know. 60k. Well, that was 100k. You have another another 40 miles to yeah. do. Yeah, the missus has done it, so maybe yeah. I'll have to. Well, you can't let the missus yeah. get away with that, can you? Yeah. Okay, so um, other than thought, thinking about the arc, what are your plans for future ultra running? Seeing as you have discovered now, after three ultras, that you're quite good at it. I've just signed up to the... Ben Nevis Ultra, Salomon sponsor. Oh, I'll see you there. Festival. I think I'm doing that. Yeah. Excellent. You need a rest, don't you, buddy? Yeah. Need to lie down. Need to lie down. Listen, thank you very much. Absolutely well done. Congratulations on your on your first you. major ultra win. No and uh, really well done. And we'll see you at the Ben Nevis Ultra and hopefully the Arc of Attrition. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be hard to say no, wouldn't it? <laughs> well done, Damien. <laughs> We were just saying the young ones were, were going to pull away from you in the end. They were going to beat you. Oh, well, I'm only uh, seven in running years, you see. <laughs> <laughs> we were, that. honestly, we were thinking, w would he want it that much? But you did. You did want it. How far ahead are you, do you know? still see someone maybe a minute behind. Yeah? We've been dueling quite a bit. Well, I, I mean, I was with you at Cahays. You were all together at Cahays. Then apparently you were all together at Gorod Haven. I don't know where that was, but... Um, um, about nine miles away. Coast. And we, um, so we've been, we've been discussing where you might all be. Me and the guy with the beard sort of pushed on a little bit. Jamie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's a really good runner. And um, he was better than me on the flats. We're probably about equal on the downs. Yeah. Slightly better on the climbs. Um, lovely, they'll try a few climbs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good for you, but... And have you, have you done any climbing before? <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like Come on, how does this rank? This must, I mean, this must be right up there. UTMB. There you go. My biggest achievement, hardest race. No, it's been cracking. Yeah. Perfect it's... weather. Do you know what, though? It has been perfect weather, really, yeah, hasn't it? No, it's, it's relatively, actually, it's quite, it's quite deceptively hot for a while. It's been sweating. I, I smell very bad. Don't come any closer. I won't. But yeah, nice breeze. Brilliant. Nice, refreshing showers. It's been beautiful. Go and get a drink. Well done, Damien. Back to the arc. 
Oh, now nah, there's a question. You've there's qualified a question. for the arc. Yeah, well, you've qualified. <laughs> yeah, you've qualified. I will definitely do the arc one day. You have that on. Okay. Whether it's next year, I'm not sure. Ooh. But I think I'm next year. Right, so live on Facebook, Damien Hall says he... Sorry, he will definitely do the arc one day. Damien Hall, winner of the 2019 Black Rat. Well done, buddy. <laughs> and Jane heard it as well. Hello, guys. So these guys in the grey tops, these guys are the 24-hour Bring Out Your Dead Runners. They've been going since 7 o'clock yesterday evening. They're now 16 hours in. What up, Brian? 16 hours or so in to their run. They've covered between 40 and 60 miles, some of the runners. Okay, so here comes second place in the 50k. Good job, Jamie. Well done. Until the last 10k. <laughs> Everyone says that. Everyone says. <laughs> How'd you feel? Uh, really good for finishing, but a lot of pain. So when you say you loved it, what did you love? Uh, chasing him. That was exciting. Yeah. Wouldn't it have been better him? To, yeah, him chasing you would have been better. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's just getting out there, isn't it? Like on the coast path. On a Saturday. You, oh, it's beautiful. Isn't it? yeah. Have you done the course before? No. So no. What, what? And what about the coast path before? I knew the penchure into here was horrible. I was right. Yeah. Um, and I knew the first 12k, which was all right, and it was all right. Yeah. I didn't know anything in between. Okay. Yeah. Good fun. I recognise you. I've watched your, your videos on YouTube from. Uh, Some people have. Yeah. 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 He's a YouTube yeah. celebrity now. I'll get off with you, Damien. <laughs> last, last, year, last year was it? Um, I've done this a couple of times, yeah, and yeah, and I was uh, worse than you when I finished. I fell on the floor for 20 minutes, and I was and I was three hours slower than you. So, uh, well done, buddy. Thank you very much. So, second, what's your surname? Stevenson. Jamie Stevenson, yeah. second place in the 2019 Black Rat. Well done, mate. Good job. Good job. Good job. Colin. Well done, Colin. Well done, Colin. <laughs> Colin, how you doing? We want to see your apple. Yeah. Okay. What What does the apple? So, uh, sorry, I'm clueless. What does the apple signify? Three, three more so, laps then really oh, okay. 62 miles for that yeah. Yeah. so that's just you that is those apples it's an apple pie afterwards ah ok right so Colin Bathe is on 60 miles now with another uh, 7 hours left to run and this is tailwind are you surviving on tailwind still? I've got tailwind and I'm eating sandwiches. sandwiches. Oh, okay. At least you've got and something solid. Yeah, and just coming in the sanctuary. Yes. Tastes awful. But we're going to get ready soon. Just to see where it has stopped. And it's got a great deal. Anna. Well done, Anna. Good job. Let's check the shoes. Now, who are you? You know. I'm Shane Nesbitt. Yeah, and uh, your second in the yep. 2019 Plague. Right. Where does that rank in your um, history of ultra running? I've won one of their events before. Okay, what did you win? So, uh, uh, I won the Quest in 2016. Okay, cool. Okay, so, uh, and I've had the odd second and third. Yeah, yeah. Other thing, so, but I don't race much. Are you pleased with this? Very pleased, yeah. Yeah, what were you expecting from today? What were you hoping uh, for from today? Finish. <laughs> just to finish. But as everybody says, I just wanted to finish. <laughs> no, no, you must have had a time in mind. I was expecting I just wanted to finish, but other people have certain expectations. <laughs> other people. Hence, hence I got seeded. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No and fourth place well done, in the Black Rat. Well yeah. done. Well done, Hello, Jay. Okay. Well, uh, now. <laughs> 50. 450. 450, excellent. So, so what, what were you hoping for? What were you expecting? Uh, I wasn't sure about time. I was hoping for a podium if I could. Yeah. I think I missed it by a couple of minutes. So yeah, I think, I, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, with the field we had, you know, yeah, some, some quick runners and yeah. you did uh, astonishingly well. It's Four, great 450 on that course? Yeah. yeah can't argue, good. really, can you? Yeah, thank you. Well done. Can good job, Dan. <laughs> well done, Well done, Dan! Good job, buddy. 
Yeah, All right. Yeah, cool. How was that? Yeah. That last bit. That's horrible, isn't it? Slippy. Yeah. You've done yeah. 20 miles quicker than that before, Dan. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the first half was real good fun. Yeah. It just I gets it gets a bit more tricky on the second. It's all great, but it's just hard to run hard on that last. That yeah, last bit. yeah, you can't, can you? Because I think so many people, it's really churned up. But it makes it, you know, it makes it fun because it's. Uh, you're kind of coasting and then all of a sudden it gets not only the elevation but uh, just underground yeah, yeah and with, the, with it being rainy and then dry and then rainy and then dry this ground's a bit weird isn't it yeah. no i mean the first half is all really like fast vulnerable yeah it's not too uh, wet <laughs> no, it's brilliant at one point i slipped did you go over yeah but i was on top of a grassy hill and i just slid on my bum down this grassy hill and managed just to get up and carry on Oh, yeah. Good I wish, stuff. I wish someone had filmed it. I said it can't do. Well, so, uh, Dan, you didn't take a medal. Um, just for the people watching, explain why you didn't take a medal and the, the shirt that you're wearing. And just five, I know you're tired, but no, give me give me two fine, minutes. Man. Yeah, yeah. Um, we run a social enterprise called We Run, um, which kind of encourages as, as little waste as possible in the in the running community. And um, I don't take a medal because it's fine. I'm happy. I don't. Me personally, I don't need a memento of the race. And my, the memento is in my mind. It's it, it's my memories. So I don't need to take something that I don't need. And I think rerun is about spreading awareness about that. Don't buy too much kit. Don't take race t-shirts if you don't want them. And then just as runners, consume less because the 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 least we consume, the more our trails last longer do you know what i mean if that makes sense yeah yeah so our t my t-shirt is a mashup of two race t-shirts and it's kind of like a, a statement t-shirt to say that we've got like we've got too many of these race t-shirts and we're, i'm not against race t-shirts i'm just against people taking them we don't need them or don't want them so what so if, if people want to um join that movement if people want to take part what do they do how do they get involved in rerun the, the, the best the best thing is to consume less and to lobby their race organizers to give people an option whether they want medals or whether they want uh, race t-shirts because we get given things we don't necessarily want like, first of all we don't necessarily need and second we don't necessarily want we get thousands of donations to race t-shirts never never ever been used so it's about it's not like come and buy secondhand stuff from us it's about just think about what you're doing and ask yourself the question before you purchase anything do i really need this and if the answer is yes then buy it if the answer is no then don't flood the world with more and more stuff that we don't need awesome yeah Dan, well done. Uh, what race have you got coming up next? Uh, ultra, the same one as Damien, Ultra Tour, Monte Rosa. Are you I'm, doing Monte I'm Rosa? Doing, I'm doing four of these. You know what I mean? I'm doing them over four days. Uh, okay. Against the, world, the 24 hour world championships. Uh, Excellent. Uh, yeah. Are you, are you Great Britain shirt for that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Me and uh, Paul, Paul's, Paul's here this week. He's, uh, he's at Goran Haven, isn't he? Doing the um, aid station there, helping yeah. out there. So me and him will be on the team. And another lady that would have run, Sarah Morwood, um, yes. is, is on the team as well. So the Mud Crew is well represented, yeah. They are, Two yes. Mud Crew runners, and I consider myself like a... I don't know. A, and, good, uh, a good friend of Mud Crew. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't know, uh, Dan also does the uh, British Ultra Running podcast with uh, we get you James. On one time, eh? And <laughs> when's, do you know when the next one is? No, James, if you're watching. Yeah, <laughs> you need to sort out another one. Dan, uh, well done, mate. All right, good job, buddy. So that's Dan Lawson, uh, winner of the Red Rat 20 Mile Race. Any soul? Any soul? Well done, Amy. Hi. You're right, Amy. Well done. Oh, my goodness. This lady. Sorry, Black. Black women down, Megan Davis. Well done, Megan. Amy, how are you? Okay. Yeah. No, of course you are. I always cry at the end of my ultras. Are you coming? Yes, you are. Oh, please come. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> what, what position were you for? Third. Well done, man. Great stuff. Well done, buddy. How are you feeling? I'm all right, Steve. Yeah. I can't lie that I'll be really glad when it's done. You, you do. You have to continue all the way to eight o'clock, though, don't you? Well, I think we have allowed to finish about. 
20. Yeah. But you'll get your 64 miles done well before that, won't you? Okay. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> and then get out quick. Yeah. Oh, then back. Good job. You all right? Yeah, what was that? Was, you, did you white the white rat? Yeah. Yeah. Eleven mile. Was that the first time you've done the race? The first time I've ever done a trail race. <laughs> the first time you've ever done a trail. What's your name? Freddie Brown. Freddie Brown. Nice to meet you, Freddie. So does that inspire you to go on and do more? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, that was eleven miles of it. Yeah. Two years, two, three years time. Do the whole sixty-four. So that, you, you, do you know what? You look really fresh and you look like you thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah, recommend it to people? There you go. There you go. Live on Facebook, you will not regret coming and doing one of these races at the Rat Weekend. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Well done, Rob. Put him on a chair, not the Get him on a chair, yeah. That's what it means to people. That's what it means to people, you know, some people put their absolute all into these races and it you know almost breaks them and it's such an achievement to finish these things sometimes and sometimes the emotion just overwhelms you and I know it does me sometimes that when I finish races like this good job buddy you're right buddy I thought you were cramping up there which one did you do yeah Oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah, it's the first one I've done, actually. What, the first one of the rat or the first trail race you've... Trail race, everything. Whoa, you're the second person I've spoken to just in the past five minutes who said that was their first ever trail race. I'm keen to do the next You enjoyed it then? So the, the hills didn't, they didn't put you off? I felt pretty good for the first half. Just the second half is just... Uh, yeah, the, I think we've said to everyone, whether you're doing the plague, the 64 miler or the, or the, the, the 31 miler or whatever, the last, everyone does those last 10 miles and everyone feels the hills. Just cramped up big time towards the end as well. It's just stuff that you probably see you hobbling across the line. There's just nothing there, nothing in the tank. What's your name? Uh, Mike, Mike Gittings. Mike Gittings, well, well done, Mike. Good job. And uh, I hope to see you again, uh, either at another rat or another event. Glad you enjoyed it. Cheers, buddy. Well done. Look, there we are. Well, do a double interview. Double interview streaming thing. So, um, um, obviously, the last time I've seen the competitors are up all night. I guess you had a fairly busy night as well, didn't you? Yeah, actually, do you know what I did? I thought I'd get to um, St Anthony's Head nice and early to catch the leader in the plague uh, at the turnaround point. And I got there really early and fell asleep in my car and missed him. So I then had to get in my car and drive to Port Scapo and uh, catch him there. And you, you did tell me, Stephen, you were desperate to make sure we, we caught the first plane runner at the finish. And I never go and see your own spouse. <laughs> I, I phoned my wife to say, if I don't make it back to the finish line, can you please video the uh, plane Tom when he crosses the finish line? Luckily, I made it back just in time. Yeah, I've never, never seen his legs move so fast, everyone. So, so there we go. Um, me interviewing Stephen Cousins is interviewing me going out live on Facebook right now. <laughs>
Yeah, Enjoy that, guys. Well, kind of. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Kind of. Would you come again next year? Oh, it's got to be a plague next year, isn't it? You going to do the plague? Good for <laughs> you. Well, I've got something to think about. It. <laughs> are, you are you going to? I'm ready to do the 50, so we'll see. You can upgrade, I'm sure you can upgrade. Well, Jane's already said to me that they might do something there. Yeah. <laughs> might be able to. We'll see, we'll see how we go. Great stuff. I hope you enjoyed it today. Cheers, well done, guys. Yeah. How was that for you? Hard? Well, it's supposed to be hard. Good. It's a trail race on the coastal path. What did you do today? The, the red? red yeah. Have you done the 20 miles before? Is it a kind of I distance have done you. I've the red before. I did okay. The black last year, yeah. And you did the black last year? I did. Yeah. So when are you doing the plague? Never. No, no answer to that, is there? <laughs> did you enjoy it? Would you recommend the coast path to a new ultra runner? A new... Yes. You would. Good. Definitely. Excellent. Yeah. Well done, guys. What did you do? 11. 11, how did you find it? Tough. Tough. It's supposed to be tough. <laughs> but it's brilliant now. Brilliant now. What do you think of... Sorry? It's, she's 40 40, today. I would have said 20. Four zero. I would have said 20. Yes. So, have you, is 11 miles a distance you're used to? Or? No. Right, so... I've never run that far before. Oh, brilliant. So, how do you... And you chose the coastal path yeah. to do it on. Yeah. Well, we're that, local, so we do train a bit on the coastal path, but we've never done this distance before. Oh, well, so. well done. Absolutely. Would you do it again? Yeah, Would you year, maybe, Are you going to step up to the <laughs> step up to the twenty? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know about that. Twenty is just safe about the twenty. But... Well, listen, very well done today. Oh, thank you. Take care. Bye bye. bye. How did you do today? Yeah, really well. Thank yeah. You. yeah really you did the twenty. Yes. Have you yeah. done the twenty before? No. It's my Have first you done time. a ride event before? No, this is my first time. Brilliant. Before. Excellent, yeah. how did you find it? Yeah, really good, really good support. Has it, so. has it made you think about uh, doing another rat event at a longer, longer distance or would you go and do another trail event somewhere else? What do you think? Yeah, I would definitely give this one again next year. I'm not sure that I would be brave enough to do a longer distance, but certainly do this one again, it's been great. If you've done 20 miles on the coast path, does that mean you can do a, a flat, fast road marathon? <laughs> I've edited the Cornish in October, so we'll soon find out. Excellent. Well done. Thank you very much. Well done today. How did you all do today? Please, would you recommend Mud Crew events to anyone? <laughs> Which, what did you do? What, you read the Red Rat, 20 miler, okay. So, um, what would you say uh, you would prefer? Would you, do you like 20 miles on a coast path or would you like a marathon on a flat road? Coast path for sure. Coast path every like time? Coast path. Yeah. Coast path. Oh, you look, oh give, me, give me a flat road marathon any day, she says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, like the last mile and you're climbing. Oh, I know. Yeah, oh, really good, though. Really good. Yeah, oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it today. Thank you. Well done, guys and gals. Bye bye. Hello. What did you do today? We did the red rat. The 20 mile out. my daughter. Oh, Did you do it together? Yeah, yeah. Oh, awesome. Is that the first run you've done together or do you run together uh, a lot? We've done a few things. Yeah, we've done a few. Uh, are you on together and stuff. Are you gradually increasing the distances? You're all right, that was your oh, yeah, yeah, that's my favourite. Okay, so next year we're going to go for the 50k, are we? You, you might, mind you? Really? I might, I'm concerned on uh, triathlon, long distance triathlon, so. Okay. Um, but you might go for the 32, might you? I don't think I will. Yeah, that's dad, that's dad pushing daughter into the. <laughs> it was a very good event, I enjoyed it. Have you, have you done a rat event before? Have you done a mud crew no, event before? No, we haven't. No. Where are you from? Are you local? We're from Newquay. Okay, so not too far away then. Oh yeah, well, good luck with your triathlons and good luck with training for the Black Rat next year. Absolutely. Well done. Hi guys. Hi. How did you find that? Yeah, good. What did you do, the Red Rat? Yeah. So that's a 20 miler. And, uh, have you done 20 miles before? Yeah. Have you done trail races before? And he's done the plague. You've done the plague? <laughs> oh, well, this is nice easy. Sims. This yeah. is easy peasy for you, wasn't it? I don't know, we stopped for half a side of that. That didn't make it run. easier. Right, you know what? <laughs> Why not, eh? Why not? Yeah. The weather didn't know what to do with itself no, today, no, did it? No, it was good, yeah. Good as always, yeah. So has she convinced you to do the plague next year then? No, I've done 50 and that's my limit. <laughs> Most definitely. Well, you look like you've enjoyed yourselves today, yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah. Well done. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks for chatting. Guys, well done. Oh, thank you. You've done the white rat today, the yeah. 11 miler. Yeah. Oh. 
Is that a distance that you're used to? Never done it before? Or? Never on trail. Never on the Never trails. On the trail, but it's so, so how would you compare running uh, 10 miles on the road to 10 miles on the trail? Way harder on the trail. Though. Way harder on the trail. Way harder, but, but more, more enjoyable. More enjoyable. Exciting, yeah. Everyone's so nice. It's been a real good camaraderie out there. So yeah. Good we'll fun. Back. You'll be back. Yeah. Excellent yeah, stuff. Thank you very much, guys. Well done. Guys, can we have a chat? What have you done today? Black Rat! 32, excellent yeah. stuff. Is that the first time you've done 50k? No. So you so and on, that was the hard one. That's hard. That is the hardest. So what other 50k's have you done before? And what other like distances? Green Man in Bristol. Green Man in Bristol, okay. He's done a couple in Italy. Yeah, oh right. What have you done? Dolomite, Dolomite Yes, yeah. Dolomite's extreme, excellent. This is pretty extreme though. <laughs> it's hard work, especially that last yeah. 10 miles, isn't it? The ten, last yeah. 10k or so. Yeah, I know, the cocktail girls were there, were they? Yeah, yeah it's pretty Excellent good. stuff. So, would you recommend uh, Mud Crew events? Uh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. good stuff. Horse is brilliant, um, Spectator's brilliant, the crew is brilliant. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, okay, well, hopefully we will see you again next year. Take care, thank you, bye bye. Well done, guys. How did you do? Oh, Tired. Twenty uh, miler today. Under five, so that's good. And did you did you did you run today? You did a bit of running with Daddy, did didn't you? you? Daddy's faster than Nana. Uh, <laughs> well done today. You enjoyed it? Yeah, really good. Good, really good. good. Well done. done. Well done. Good job. Well done. Black rat today. How was it for you? The last few miles were quite tough. The last few miles are tough. That is, everyone is saying that. <laughs> that was good though, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, is, is 50k a distance you're used to? Um, I've done it once before. Yeah, do it again? Yeah. Or are you going to step up? I'll do that one again. Now they're not tempted by the plague? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> How are your legs? You look like you're uh, stretching them out a bit, a bit of cramp. Moving. Keep moving, yeah. yeah. I'm feeling a little bit sore now, so I just want to stretch it out and then be fine. Yeah, great stuff. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Hello, who are you? I'm Susie Kyles. Susie, what have you just done today? The White Rat. The White Rat. And uh, is that the first time that you've done that distance before? Yes. What got you into running in the first place? Um, I was losing weight and I needed to lose more weight and still eat and drink. <laughs> <laughs> My partner runs as well, so he's doing the black rat at the moment. Okay, is he, still. is he still out there? He's okay, still good for him, yeah. Yeah, so, and I have watched the rat in supporting people and it's always exciting. Was it something that was always in your head as something you wanted to do? Yeah. And how how do you feel now that you've now that you've completed the white rat? Quite exhausted. <laughs> Even though I have run, run that distance, on the, in in total, it's tough. Do you think that at some point you would try the red rat? We'll see. <laughs> oh, that wasn't a no. It's never a no. <laughs> But we'll see. Well, listen, really, really well done. What was your name again? Susie. Susie, really well done today. And uh, thank you for talking to me. Thank you. Bye bye. These are the feet of a man who's just run 100 kilometres on the southwest coast path and finished the plague. Are you mad? Yeah. Yeah, you are, aren't you? <laughs> So, um, how long have you been running in sandals? Uh, about 18 months now. 18 months, so actually not all that long then. What made you, what made you go for sandals? You see my feet. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I just enjoy it. Yeah, nice. Is this the gnarliest race you've done yeah. with sandals? Were you at all worried before yeah. starting? <laughs> And were there any dodgy moments? Uh, going out when it was proper wet and slippery, I had to like take it easy on the downs. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, we've got this group of runners over here who are all looking at you like you are a complete... What do you think of him running in sandals? <laughs> You're insane, sir. Yeah, are you doing the arc of attrition in sandals? Never say never. <laughs> Mate, what's your next race? Uh, nothing planned, no. Nothing planned? The, plan. Arc, the, the arc, arc of attrition, then. <laughs> Congratulations, well done, and a monumental effort in those sandals, mate. Cheers. Very good job. Right, so this is the finish of the Boyd race. They've all timed it. 
They're allowed to stay in sanctuary here for 20 minutes. They've all timed it so that they get in across the finish line just around about 20 minutes before. If they'd got in early earlier, they'd have to wait 20 minutes and then go out for another lap. So that's why they've timed it all to come in now. So they've been running for 24 hours. So remember guys, they're still... And here they come, here's some more of them coming in now. So we have one more lap. Mark Buxton, Chris Wadey, Peggy Whiteman, and Richard Don't touch anybody. You all right, Beck? Yeah, very really pleased. Well done, you. How many miles did you do, do you think, in the end? So 65, 65 miles. So that qualifies you for the arc. Good for you. Steve, you all right? Happy? I'm not going to touch you. No, just because you smell, not because of any outside assistance. <laughs> no, well done, mate. What did you do? What do you think? 75? <laughs> what a lunatic. Uh, so uh, we think that uh, Colin is the winner of the Boyd because we think he's done more Mars than anyone else. And he's been collecting an apple per lap. So the, the Boyd takes in basically the hardest bit of the whole course. So every single runner, whether you've run the 100K, the 20 miler, the 11 miler, the 50K, or the Boyd, you all do this last little bit which involves a ton of steps. But the Boyd runners are basically just doing that for the whole course, up and down, up and down, hundreds of steps. And that's what they've done for 24 hours. What I said, come on, come on. Do you want to, they miss all the other steps. Do you want to go over there and tell them? About? <laughs> uh, yeah, run away, run away really fast. Yeah, they're not going to catch you. That is true. They won't catch you. They won't catch you. Right, these are the hardcore fans who, who uh, have stuck it out till eight o'clock to see everybody home. Have you enjoyed your weekend, everybody? So race directors here, frantically working out distances and times and who's won, who's come second. Andy's just rubbing his chin because he needs a shave. He's not really thinking after 36 hours of... Jane's just rubbing her chin because she needs a shave. Well done, well done, well done. There's the tail runners. There's our tail runners. Well done, girls. And this is this is what it's all about, guys. If you if you ever think that you can't do something. This is test this is proof that you can. And the emotion all comes out and you can see how hard this lady's worked to get in 10 minutes before the cutoff. <laughs> a massive achievement for some people, a massive achievement for anyone who completes a 50k run over that kind of terrain. Hello, what's your name? Michelle. Michelle, Michelle you did the black rat. First, yeah, was it your first 50k? Yeah. Okay, and Jane? Jane? She's trying to run away. Hi, you're Jane. Yeah. So you did it together. How much of it did you do together? The whole thing. Yeah. Well done. So you pulled each other through. Yeah. Was it your first 50k as well? Yeah. Well done to both of you. Absolutely fantastic job. Well done. Enjoy it.
That's what it's all about, isn't it? That is what it's all about. And the winner of the Ladies Bring Out Your Dead 2019 with a distance of 70 miles, Anna Pasco. And in first place, and the winner of the Men's Bring Out Your Dead 2019 with a distance of 80 miles, Colin Bailey. and I make no apologies for being delighted, is Emma Stevens. She's not here. Oh, there she is. <laughs> and 
and in first place in a time of one hour 57 minutes and five seconds emma is kate peacock We can't do this bloody event with this girl because she works tirelessly. She's been for the last for the last five years. She's been our logistics director, general dog's body, the one that organises everything that we haven't got time to organise. And um, we have a, a, a memorial trophy that we sometimes give to a runner who's done something or has achieved something special. But this year. We're not going to give it to a runner, we're going to, well she does run, but we're going to give it to Melissa because without Melissa we couldn't hold this event. Right, unless I get drunk and do a live broadcast of dad dancing in the barn in the disco tonight, <laughs> that is it for live broadcasts of the Rat Weekend. Uh, it's been a blast. Uh, even though I haven't run, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, come and join the festivities next year. Come and run one of the Rat events. If you're brave enough to do the Boyd or the Plague, then great. Otherwise, come and do the 11 miler, the 20 miler. You'll thoroughly enjoy it, I promise you. Even if the weather's horrible. Um, like I say, there may be some live broadcasting tonight from a drunken barn. But that's, it's only a possibility. So take care from the Mud Crew, from the Rat Weekend. Have a safe one, enjoy trails. Take care, bye bye.